Do you know what the worst part about getting older is? You have less and less time to do things that are just like for fun, purely for pleasure, not productive, not... What is this thing? You know, modern <laughs> art. You know, things that aren't, you know, uh, a chore, an errand, or some, some sort of productivity thing, or trying to be efficient, just like mind-numbing for fun. Uh, that's what I miss, so that's why we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to go back to the old days. Do you remember these days? I'm so scared. <laughs> We're gonna eat hard <laughs> cement. I hope we don't eat cement. Also, we have this brand new Sony 14mm f1.8. This is a very interesting lens. We're gonna be testing it out. And there's no better way to test it out than go back to our roots. Rollerblading time. I'm excited. This is like childhood nostalgia right here. The only thing is we don't actually have rollerblades right now. <laughs> Neither of us own a good, there's like special types of rollerblades for what we do, so. Uh, luckily, our friend actually runs this shop, so. Eric! We're not entering inside, Eric. We're not coming in, but can you hook us up? I think we can figure it out. <laughs> this, this man is the rollerblading specialist. Oh, the question is, Eric, are we gonna eat shite? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, first 10 minutes, maybe, but definitely in an hour, you will. <laughs> maybe we still have muscle memory. Yeah, I'm really curious, is it just gonna all come back? I haven't rollerbladed, I got knee surgery, and then I really haven't rollerbladed at all since then, and that's like seven years. I got knee surgery too. <laughs> we both have, we're both old. <laughs> we just... Two broken knees, no skills. Okay, smokes, it's a lot of boxes. It's 50 pounds, bro. You're really trying to sell us today. <laughs> Best salesman. Yeah. Everybody number Everybody needs rollerblades. Shop task Eric, he's your man. Number one salesman in the city. So what do we have here? Well, I think for Matty, he wants all black. Of course. So of course. you guys you, you guys know me all black. Rose's fifth element Ooh. to start. Ooh, those look pretty nice. Okay, okay. Tesla. Are you getting happy feelings? Because this is literally our childhood. This is literally what we used to do every single day, all day long, every hour, every free time we had, like every hour of free time, we would do this. We would go to the skate park all summer long, every single day. If there was any free time, we'd be skating our box at home or street spots. Rain, rainy days watching rollerblading videos or making our own. We had our own DVDs. We've watched rollerblade videos over and over again, probably like 50 times, and then that's where we started We started making rollerblade videos. Me and Eric used to edit together. Yeah, we would uh, spend our time in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a, a, a crew, a, car, a crew called Define Crew. Yes. There are the some Define videos on crew. YouTube still, I think. Yeah, we, yeah. Should, we should show them a little bit. <laughs> Fun fact, I never ever, I filmed, but I never ever edited anything That's back then. True. It was you, only you, you, you were lazy. I just didn't like it, it didn't interest me at all, not I, one bit. I, want, I wanted to pump up more videos of myself, so I got into filming and editing. I was making little edits weekly. How do they feel? Oh, it feels, it's been what, sev seven years? Seven years since my knee surgery, so. Oh. This is interesting. Knee surgery with roll blades, that might not be a good combo. I'm, I'm kind of scared, like, it's still in the brain that, like, my knee could pop out at any time. My <laughs> knee, for you guys who don't know, my knee used to dislocate, like, that way. Ooh. So it'd just be like, bam, and then back in. Felt not good. I had to take him to the hospital in Finland the last time I popped out, so... Don't want to do that again today! Yep, <laughs> rather not undo the, the surgery. Look <laughs> how sleek those are. I think these are for you. Eric might know me well. Are these the ones? I haven't even tried anything else. <laughs> these are pretty sick. Feels weird. Am I allowed to roll around a little? Sen Sensei is allowing us to take a roll. Oh, okay, okay. He's got it still. Does it feel weird to like lean forward and stuff? It feels really weird, but at the same time, very like, I've done this before. <laughs> COVID times, we have to try out roll blades outside. There's a beautiful shop there, but we're out here on a picnic bench. <laughs> yeah, they have a beautiful store. I wish I had this for my office. Should we move in a place like that? I wouldn't mind, because I live right down the street. <laughs> this is the first trick from Mati in many years. First time trying to grind something. <laughs> don't eat it. I don't want to eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> ah, it failed! You hesitated. Still has 
Oh, yeah. I think these are the ones. Let's go. That was my signature. I did my first grind. <laughs> How does it feel? Great. It's not bad, it's fun. Oh, feels good. All right, let's see it, Tempo. Do trick. Ah! <laughs> Almost ate it. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> you should not be doing this. Sold. All right, let's get to testing that lens. So the reason why this lens is really interesting is that it's crazy wide. 14 millimeters, like, that's insanely wide. Right now, what are we at right now? 16 mil. We're at 16 mil right now. That's already pretty wide. This is even wider than that. Not only that, it's an f1.8, which is really interesting. Usually these lenses are 2.8. Very shallow, very shallow. Very shallow. So there's a few things that this is going to be really interesting for. First of all, if you're like an astrophotography landscape type person, this is going to be really good. I, they even told me like, you know, sometimes like stars turn into like, they turn into like hourglasses, I think, or like bow ties kind of thing. This apparently doesn't do that. Plus you got the 1.8, so you got more light when you're doing astrophotography. What I'm really curious about is what is what else can it do? For example, could this be good for like vlogging? Because it's small. It's like I think that's one of the most interesting things about this lens. It's crazy wide, but this is very small for a wide-angle lens. I'm pretty sure the Sigma is like way bigger. Sigma is the only one that has a 14 mil f 1.8. Nobody else has one other than Sigma, and it's way bigger. So. You think this could be a good vlogging lens? Compact vlogging setup. Compact vlogging setup. And like 14 mil is really wide. And they're saying that it's very, um, I think rectilinear is the correct term where it doesn't really distort too much in the corners, even though it is really wide. So let's put it to the test. Are we gonna die? <laughs> we might. The 14 mil is on the FX3. First clip being recorded right now on the 14 mil. And man, I gotta say, it looks really good. Okay, let's compare. We're gonna put the same, same distance away. 14, 16 mil. There's the difference right there. Here, I'm gonna take both. <laughs> Whoa. Here's the difference. What does it look like? 14 mil versus 16 mil. <laughs> Just landed a, a grind. Took me a bunch of times. I forgot how much even the small falls where you just like hit your down on the ground just hurts. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna be hurting all over tomorrow. That one has the feeling. I'll roll the pillar again. <laughs> We're back to making skate videos here. First thoughts on the lens, Steppo? Oh, this is really wide and I love it. I actually this really like handle. this. It's the ultimate. If we had this when we were teenagers, rollerblading. Oh my gosh. It'd be the dream. But I'm, I'm like half convinced that that could be a vlogging lens. This might be our new vlogging lens. We can't <laughs> zoom like this though. That is, that's a shame. <laughs> but other than that, it's way smaller than this lens. It's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure that distorts less than this one too. <laughs> the corners. It's that rectilinearness. Interesting because that's a wider lens. You'd think it's distorting a lot more, but I'm pretty sure it might be distorting. Every single person that drives through here wants to just rev their engines. Get a Tesla. Mad props that you're still doing this. Oh, thanks, bro. I, I don't think I could do it full time any, anymore. I'm just, I'm dying. I'm hurting. I know, I feel the same today, so. But I appreciate the support. You've been a great support. Hey, if you could come back and do top sides, 
right away? You're a legend. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude, Corona high five. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate guys. this. I'm glad I didn't die. Don't forget to like. <laughs> yeah. Go go visit Eric at Shop Task and I'll go buy some rollerblades if you want to come join us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, man. My nightmare scenario for this was that I would go up for the first trick, my knee would dislocate, I'd be on the ground, and we'd be doing the rest of this uh, lens test in the hospital. <laughs> that was my nightmare scenario. Glad it went a little bit better. Talk right now. It's him! <laughs> He's a real human being. Oh, he I've seen you on TikTok. He set me up with that. You're like famous. Toronto uh, famous right here. Yeah. Oh. Look at yo, that. Yo, those are brand new, both of them? Yeah, we awesome. just bought them. Yeah. I was like, yo, there's a... First time in seven years. I'm confused. <laughs> I was like, yo, I, I met him, but he's on YouTube. <laughs> he, are you from Canada? Yeah, Toronto. I thought it'd be fun, so we're just going around handing these out today. Great. Uh, so which one do you think I'm gonna like? We got white, purple. We got red. We got blue, white. And we got black and yellow. Black and yellow. Yes, all, all day, black and yellow. Black. What were the colors? Ooh, black and. I'll take these ones. Do I look good? You look ready for the future. <laughs> Retrofied. Rollerblader. Okay, gonna take my super cool sunglasses and uh, head to the office and see how this lens is. <laughs> what a random day. Look how dirty this, all of this dirt just fell out from this one wheel. Seen better days. I gotta say, this is a pretty good little vlogging lens. I was just saying to my brother that it's so nice and wide. I'm not, I'm not even like, I'm holding it like so comfortably close to my face. And I'm able to get myself, my brother, both of us in focus. Like this is my full arm extended. Like it's so wide. You can just comfortably vlog with this. I actually think I I didn't expect this to be like a, a vlogging lens, but this might be one of the best. One of the best out there. It's small, lightweight, wide, shallow depth of field, 1.8, get a lot of low light. Did you just one wheel in the office? Yeah, it's really <laughs> dirty. <laughs> You really should have uh, cleaned this off a little bit better the last time. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Sensei. Ooh. Are you are you I sure? I gotta launch it in the lake. There's no lakes here, so don't launch it in the toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Just another day at the office. There is one downside to this lens. You cannot put an ND filter on the front. It kind of like bulges out the lens, so. Uh, no ND filters. There is a slot at the back that you can put an ND filter, but you're not gonna be able to put like a variable ND filter that you can just turn around. But maybe we just uh, crank the shutter. <laughs> Use this lens. I'm actually very, very pleasantly surprised. This would be one of those lenses that I do actually buy and start using fairly often. It's a pretty versatile lens. It's got really close focus distance because it is such a like I'm I'm like. I don't know, is this like 10, 15 centimeters or something from from the, what is that for you Americans? Like four inches away from the lens and it's able to focus super close. Just gonna start vlogging like this all the time now. Do I look, do I look distorted? <laughs> <laughs> look at this shot. It's a new way of vlogging. Look at my hat. Speak with your eyes. Look at my hat. Sp speak with your eyes though. <laughs> What am I, what kind of hat am I wearing? It's a little bit distorted if you go that close, but uh, keeping it further away, it's pretty good. We were watching back the footage and uh, this just is like nostalgia right here. We're making skate videos again. We're gonna start hitting the skate park more often. Definitely. <laughs> and now the video's looking more epic with speed ramping. <laughs> yeah, I learned how to do them. <laughs> A Final Cut Pro X. Yeah, we've been using Final Cut now, uh, and it 
It is working way better than Premiere right now. Come on guys, Adobe, if you want us to keep using Premiere, we're gonna have to step up that Premiere game a little bit because it is just horrendous how slow it is right now. Just literally that bad that we had to switch over to Final Cut. Okay, I think that concludes this little video review of the new Sony 14 mil. I think Sony might be becoming one of the best companies in terms of lenses. Canon used to be like way up there, but in terms of these mirrorless lenses, Sony, you guys are doing pretty well. Thanks guys for letting me test this out. Bye.